Okay, I've got my parts from KVC. Um, I replaced both the main cam gear and the sub cam gear. And I put them in place. And I'm just going to show you the alignment marks now before I go any further. This arm here lines up with this hole with a hole in the chassis. And this sub cam has a hole here and it lines up with a hole in the chassis as well. And there's a, 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 an arm here that goes to the eject system to the sub cam gear and there's a hole in that and that lines with a hole right there as well. And you can see the actual loading arms themselves, they are timed correctly because there is a little notch. The two notches are pointing at one in the centre. They are at that particular point there. Going off to the main cam now. The main cam gear lines up with, there's a little notch here in the main cam gear, lines up with a notch on this plastic gear here. And this plastic gear then has a hole here that lines up with a hole in the chassis. And you can see the orientation then of this, this arm here then slides in on its post and it's got a little post that goes into this slot here. Then we have this arm here that goes into its little slot. You can see that's the position for, for the slot that goes into its little groove. I then put, it, uh, put a, a sub clip on there and um, stop it from coming out. This one here doesn't have a circuit. And also this sub cam gear or sorry main gear has a circuit as well. Now I'm going to start putting some parts back on this um, chassis. I'm going to I'm going to put in this part next and this goes over the sub cam gear and this hole here lines up with a post that comes out of the chassis. You'll know you have it right when you can see the screw for the sub cam there is a screw that holds the sub cam in i think i've neglected to say that there is a screw that holds the sub cam in place and you can see the head of the phillips screw going through that hole the next and thing i'm going to put in up. is this chassis this cable feeds through this slot here The assembly is held in by five screws. There's one here, two, three, four, and five. And you can see this is not going in right because there's something here holding in place. There you go. This piece of metal here was stop from going down. Now I'm just going to get five small silver screws into it. Now we have the idler assembly itself and that goes over 
is a little post here in the center of this gear, uh, gear. that goes back to the capstan motor and that goes into this hole here Now we're going to this um, back tension arm on the take up on the supply side of the, the tip deck and when you take it out um, it just comes apart it just comes apart and when it comes apart the spring flies to the spring and when you're putting it back in that's the way you have to do it you have to put the long side of the spring which is at the bottom end of it it comes to hooks in here and the shorter side then is pulled over and it's hooked underneath this little lever here and that's the way you leave it there I have it together now and um, as you can see I just put the second part on top of it and that's the way it sits there and you can see the spring below it okay this arm now the center hole of this now slides onto this post here and you got a spring it doesn't look like it's out there sitting correctly let's see can I get a short closer shot than that it's not gone down far enough because the circ clip's got to go over this all right I'm going to take it off again and see why it's not going down fully Got it in again, slid it in, and as you can see, there's enough room now on that post to get a circle clip around. What was happening was that spring that I lined up earlier on came out of its uh, its position and was holding it proud. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a circle clip on this just to hold it in place, and I got some of them circle clips as well. And that's the part number there for them little circlips. I'm just going to get a circlip. What I normally do is at the end of my tweezers, I just a little bit of grease on it, and that'd be enough to lift those little, very, very small circlips. As you can see, it's sitting there on the top just with a small bit of grease. So it's clip in place. Now we have the spring here. This spring goes onto this little latch here. So I'm just going to pull that around. Okay. time for it to put this brake band around. I left the screw in here. Just gonna take it out. I'm gonna move this brake band around. And it's it's got to go over that post there. It's a round hole in the this end of the brake band that goes over that post. You see, and then the brake band is also got to go between this system here. Okay. Push down. Now we have our screw to put in. And 
they did put markings on that there for where it was situated so I'm going to just put back there there is a, a system setting them up in the manual but it's just too much work it's just easier to mark it in this cover now for the idler and the gears and how that works is we've got two little slits here and you see there's an opening wider opening at each end of it and this slide down on slots or uh, posts here another one here and then it's pushed down there's a little uh, groove on each one of those posts mm. that will retain it in place now we'll just slide it down that's that side down that's that side down okay as you can see they're in place now we have to put a screw in to keep it in there Okay, that's it. Just going to put in this uh, guide assembly, and that would go over here beside the capstan motor. Three screws holding in place. Three small silver screws. That's one. Third one. Now I'm going to put in this uh, arm with the head cleaner at the end. There's no information on how you line this up with the gears in there, but so I'm just seeing it seems to be as far back as it'll go. Now I do have a little washer to go on here, little circle clip. Just going to stick this uh, pinch roller back in place as well. And I've got to put in two washers. Got me two little clips on here, one of this uh, pinch roller arm assembly in here, and I got the other one of this arm here, this assembly here. 